Back to your fancy new home. Your husband. What time is it? It's late. Guess I should get the car, huh? I already did that, baby. Well, uh, where is it? Got it towed up to the local gas station. Should be ready soon. Some coffee? No. So, we, we can go home now, huh? No, not yet. What do you mean? We got a job to do, baby. Well, well that was yesterday. Well, I rescheduled for today. How'd you do that? Picked up the phone, dialed the state capitol, and mentioned your name, Devereaux. So, the phone's working now, huh? Yeah. Jack's friends said that they'd be happy to meet us around lunch, so that'll put us back in Salem by late afternoon. Did all that this morning first thing, huh? Yeah. Well, you were sleeping so nice. Looks like you were having some good dreams. I didn't want to ruin them for you. Call Jack? No. I thought he'd rather hear from you. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I better call. Guess you better. What are you going to tell him about what happened last night? I'm telling the truth. Can't do that. What do you think you're doing? I can't let you tell Jack what happened last night. Nothing happened last night. There's nothing to say. Well, he's not going to believe that, Kayla. Jack trusts me. He doesn't trust me. Look, if you're afraid of what Jack thinks, that's your problem. Look, I'm not afraid of what he thinks. I'm afraid of what it might do to him. Now, he's just starting to come around, Kayla. It doesn't make any sense to get him all upset and worried for nothing. I'm not going to lie to him. Oh, come on, Kayla. All you got to do is say that we stayed in, in some motel somewhere and we got separate rooms. Well, then he finds out where we really were. What's he going to think then? He, how's he going to find out? There was nobody else here. Oh, come on. What are you going to tell us? Look, unlike you, I happen to think that relationships should be based on trust and honesty. Oh, mistake. Hello? Hello? Jack, it's me, Kayla. Kayla, are, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry I didn't call you earlier, but the phone lines were washed out. I'm just glad it wasn't anything more serious. Where are you? Uh, I'm, I'm just in a small town outside the capital. What about Steve? Where's Steve? Uh, he's here. He's fine, too. Good. What happened? Uh... Look, Jack, I'd love to go into all this right now, but I, I really have to run. Steve rescheduled that appointment for half an hour from now, and, and, well, listen, I'll explain everything to you when I get home, all right? Yeah, I'll be waiting. I love you. Oh, uh, great. Bye. Well, I guess we should get a move on, you know? We don't want to be late for that meeting. I didn't hear you say anything about where we stayed last night. I'll tell him when I get home. Kayla, I wouldn't do that if I were you. It's going to open up a whole what lot of things you don't want to get into. What is there left to open up? There's nothing left. You know, I realized that last night. I thought it would be so impossible to spend the night here alone with you. But you know what? It wasn't. And it made me realize that everything that I felt for you before it's really over. Good. It's about time.